Hey YouTubers, Steven here. Today I'd like to talk to you about a project I started about uh, three years ago. Uh, but first I'll, I'll give you a little bit of a, a rundown or story time if you will. Um, spent a lot of time at my grandfather's cottage uh, growing up as a boy. And we had a canoe. Absolutely loved getting out on the water on the canoe. But I used to daydream a lot, you know, as most of us kids do. Um, about how cool it would be if, you know, I could pedal the boat around like I was riding my bike. Um, but being a young boy, I didn't have the mechanical knowledge or, or the experience, you know, on how to build such a boat. But several years later, um, I started thinking one day when sitting around trying to find stuff on the internet to do and bored. Um, I thought I'd Google search, you know, uh, pedal power boats and see if I could come up with something. And, uh, I wasn't looking for, um, you know, a paddle boat that, you know, you can rent at, you know, amusement parks, the, the big bulky ones where you sit side by side with somebody and it has that god awful paddle wheel underneath. Uh, I was thinking something that was truly like a boat with, uh, you know, bicycle pedals and propeller. Uh, so when I did a search for uh, pedal power boats, to my chagrin, there was all kinds of websites. You know, there were lots of people building these boats. Uh, the one thing that I did find was they're mostly for racing, you know, in a kayak body. And I was thinking something more along the lines like, um, uh, like a utility boat. You know, the average person has a, you know, an aluminum boat with an outboard motor. And, pile the kids and your fishing gear or whatever else you're going to take out in the boat with you and you know go out and you know putt around the lake and that's what I was looking for something that um, you know me and the kids could get in and, and enjoy and take the fishing gear uh, and just basically putt around the lake I wasn't looking for anything you know, fast but um, after researching you know quite a few of these web websites and really piquing my interest um, curiosity slowly turned into an obsession. Um, the more I read, the more I wanted to know, um, and I started finding websites on how people were building their boats. Um, so from there, um, I started looking to see if there was any websites on, you know, wooden boat plans. Um, I could build a boat. I'm, you know, I, I'm not an engineer by trade. But uh, I'm good with my hands, very mechanically inclined, and I started thinking this is something that I could do with my kids. Uh, it could be a little project, you know, we could do over a summer. Uh, what turned from one summer into another summer. Last summer was a was a a loss because um, I had lots of projects to do around the house, and we were doing some traveling with the kids and camping. So um, summer went by way too quick. So thinking, you know, this would be great, you know, family time, you know, we could get out. My girls are pretty hands-on. They, they like to, uh, to get dirty if I'm working on my van or, you know, working on the bikes or whatever. They're quite interested in, in how things work. So, as I was digging around, um, I found some boat plans. Uh, okay, it was pretty interesting. Um, then I started looking at the mechanics of... Um, you know how these boats are put together. I uh, started coming up with several ideas and I'm not going to go into great detail about the boat plans or the mechanics right now. Um, that can be its own episode. Uh, I'm hoping that um, I can put several videos together um, where I can break it down into individual segments and then once I get everyone up to speed on where I am with the boat um, then I can start filming some video on what I'm doing and show you how I'm doing it uh, once the weather gets nicer. Right now it's it's March. It's a fairly nice day outside right now but not warm enough to uh, to work out in the backyard and, and start working on the boat. So the next thing would be uh, where am I going to get all these parts? Um, you could get the plywood, you know, local hardware store. Alright. Probably wouldn't be that expensive, you know, to get a few sheets of plywood. Um, I figured, okay, bike parts. You always drive by somebody's house on garbage day who's thrown out uh, um, 
a bike that you could you know easily take apart for parts um, or I could place an ad on Kijiji which is a website similar to Craigslist uh, for buying and selling so everything was slowly starting to come together um, for the project okay I knew where I was getting my parts from uh, there were lots of um, sites that I could reference online on how to build a boat um, and then I started thinking okay well I'm, I'm bringing home the recyclables from work and we have quite a few recyclables here on on a weekly basis uh, if I start saving up the recyclables and cash them in uh, I could use that to fund the boat project okay that works uh, we got some servers in at work uh, that come in in quarter inch plywood crates uh, which I was able to obtain several of them and uh, alright I'll recycle the wood I'm going to be recycling bikes for parts I'm using recyclables um, it's going to be human powered which is going to be good for the environment uh, you know green energy I think this is going to be a green project and then it's it come to me it's project green marine very fitting name um, I have a block that I started because I didn't have a video camera at the time and I wanted to share my project with everyone so if you want to go to my blog um, and read up on everything that I've I've written so far um, it's project green marine dot blogspot dot com uh, a lot of the pictures that you're going to see in the videos um, are actually on that website uh, there may be a few that that aren't but uh, I've done a little bit of experimenting with uh, bicycle sprockets and chains so come along with me um, I'll show you everything that I can uh, the best that I can to bring you up to speed to where I am with the project and if you have any questions on what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, why am I doing it, uh, feel free to shoot me a message or in the comment box. Um, and I'll be sure to, to try and answer your question as best as I can. Uh, if I can't, there are several people that I have been talking to who build these boats that uh, maybe I can field your question to them uh, if I'm not able to answer it. So uh, until the next video, See ya.